Hello and what is up my friends, it's Thunderbob here, and tonight we are going to be checking out some Diablo 4. And uh, I have progressed, in the last video I showed you uh, maybe 10 levels ago, uh, Chain Lightning Arc Lash Sorcerer, and I have changed this a little bit, it's still Chain Lightning, but I've dropped all of my generator skills. I've gone what in my mind is kind of infinite, where I don't need a generator anymore, I've got enough mana recovery and mana reduction and mana gaining abilities that really I just spam chain lightning and I've got cooldown abilities everywhere else. I'm going to show you how I've been able to accomplish that um, through skills and items. Uh, you know, first off, uh, I'm going to show you just a couple of key pieces of gear and then I'm going to show you my build and how it all comes together. This is really nice. Uh, it's not quite perfect, but you get 23 mana every time you use a cooldown. Cooldown, 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 cooldown. That is a lot of mana. Like, if I spam all these, uh, I get 120-something mana. It's, it's you know, pretty nice. Uh, it instantly refills your mana. And this is also useful. Each time Chain Lightning bounces, you gain four mana. And that bounces off you. I also have this weapon, which gives me a 62% chance to allow my Chain Lightning to bounce two additional times. So this is mostly to help me generate mana, like when I'm fighting big groups of enemies, along with, uh, we'll go to the skills here briefly, uh, Crackling Energy. I'm really using Crackling Energy. I get 12 mana every time they drop. Because I'm using Chain Lightning with a high crit rate, they are dropping like crazy. This is not a lucky hit. You just get 25% of your crits with Chain Lightning as Crackling Energy. Each of those that drop can give you 12 mana in addition to lowering all of your cooldowns in addition to dealing some decent damage again we're using all cooldowns so lowering our cooldowns is very useful so uh, on bosses though that's where this aspect this chain lightning uh, giving you mana and this comes into play if you think about it with seven hits the majority of the time you are getting three bounces back on yourself. This is giving me, if I had a perfect version, it would give me 18 mana. By default, you you regain 10 mana per second. That's, uh, you know, a net of like one to two mana. Like at this point, my my mana cost in Chain Lightning with my reduction is at 30. So if, if you're getting 18 with each cast, that means it's about 12 mana for Chain Lightning. And then with your with your 10 per second regeneration, that's about two mana. And it wouldn't be that, that hard to bring that mana cost down, but with like a two mana cost, that's pretty negligible. You're gonna be spamming this all day long and not have an issue. So Chain Lightning can really be spammable both in a single target mode and also when you're killing a bunch of enemies in a group, you're crackling energy and using your cooldown restoration mana. Um, I'll just show you the rest of the gear here. Uh, when you have a barrier active, there's a chance to ignore incoming damage. 20% less damage from crowd controlled or vulnerable enemies. This is nice because Frost Nova is constantly making things vulnerable for 6 seconds. A lot of damage reduction. You deal 25% more damage to immobilized, stunned, or frozen. Uh, damaging an elite gives you a barrier. Collecting, uh, crackling energy increases movement speed. So I'm just bolting around the, the battlefield and also using teleport to maneuver and get those crackling energies. You saw the weapon already. Uh, I need to find a lot of these aspects uh, come from codexes. Like this, you can get it from a codex. This, you can get from a codex. Um, this, you can get from a codex. Like most of these are codex. This is one you have to get from a drop. And uh, I've only found one the entire time I played. So this is a key piece that really helps with your damage on Chain Lightning and also that mana regeneration. This is kind of nice too, 24% chance uh hit chance um when you have a barrier up and i have a barrier up all the time every time i click one of these i get a two second barrier and ice armor generates a six second barrier when i use a potion i get a barrier like i i just have tons of barriers going on uh so that's the gear let's look just very briefly at the uh, skills as well like i said we're not using a generator i have to put two points in to at least get past this tree but uh you can put them wherever you want doesn't matter Five and Chain Lightning. I'm using this one. This actually gives you more single target damage, but this spawns so many Crackling Energies. Like, like I said, this is not a lucky hit. Every time you critically strike, you have a 25% chance to form one. 
you're hitting seven times, your crit chance is sky high because of this and because of uh, this. Every time you hit with Chain Lightning, you're getting a 6% increased chance of crit. My base crit chance, I think, was like 20... Let me, I would look lately. 24%. So on my first cast, I have a 30% chance to crit, and every, every enemy it hits increases by 6. So you can see that skyrockets very fast. Uh, let's go back to our skills again. Uh, yeah, Chain Lightning... You could put a point here if you want. I found resistance not that great, to be honest. One point, basically, in all of these. Uh, you get your healing from that. You get uh, crackling energy hitting additional enemies. This is really nice. When you pick up 15 crackling energies, you're, you're now hitting six enemies instead of three uh, when you add in the ultimate as well. Glass cannon. Elemental attunement. This will reset the cooldowns very frequently. So you're, you're just getting more mana regeneration. You're getting more uh, barrier generation because of, you know, those cooldowns coming down. These are really, really nice for staying alive. This gives you a lot of uh, defense on uh, elites. This is one of my favorite skills in the game. Every cooldown gives you a 30% barrier. Again, tons of cooldowns. Lucky hit increase. Uh, on lucky hit, you've got a chance to form a crackly energy. This honestly is going to generate a lot more crackly energies, but this is nice because you have other things that are causing lightning damage as well. And then, of course, every time you stun, which you're stunning a lot because of uh, this skill down here, that's why you need lucky hit. And you got your ultimate all the way down, and we're using overflowing energy again for that for that cooldown reduction, for that additional crackling damage, just... It, it really comes together nicely. I forgot to show, but I will splice it in here, my enchantments and my paragon board, uh, where I'm at currently. Uh, so I am, I've, I've made my way through the first board, picking up the uh, non-physical damage uh, on both ends. And I've come down and I've got, I don't have enough points all the way to the legendary node for the crackling energy. That would be a pretty big bonus, but uh, I've got down here 17% Crackling energy damage, and then a bunch of the lightning damage ones. So that's where I'm at on the Paragon board. I really haven't gotten that far. I'm using the Crackling Energy uh, Glyph as well. And um, then I am still using Chain Lightning and Fireball. I did briefly try out Firebolt, but I just couldn't get it quite functioning right. Um, you know, you can use Firebolt and then use some of the fire uh, talents. But uh, I, I find these two, especially with the item that gives me additional bounces on chain lightning and then i've got a chance to get a whole nother free chain lightning yeah it just works really well together all right and i'm pretty sure i'm going to try to do the capstone dungeon also tonight i want to try to do it sub 60 just to see if this build can handle it uh, i did the first capstone for world tier 3 at like 44 i think it was and that wasn't too difficult and um Yeah, let's get these crackling energies going. Um, I need time to that. Some critical... Ooh, I don't think I've ever done this dungeon. Some critical pieces of this build, like things you should look out for. Uh, crit damage is nice for generating the orbs. Uh, you'll see there's so many of them on the ground already here. And uh, lucky hit chance is nice for the increased stun chance. Again, you get more of the crackling uh, energy when you've got more lucky hit chance. Uh, you know, obviously the most damage and lightning damage in particular, uh, like, you know, just general damage, lightning damage. Uh, I am using the fireball and the chain lightning enhancements. So, you know, fire damage is like kind of a secondary nice just because of that explosion damage being fire. And, um, you know, other than that, I like vulnerable dam, like pretty much any, you know, you've got decent vulnerable damage, you've got decent crit chance. Um, you know, lightning damage is your key, 
your key ability you're looking for. I just love it. just like everything explodes on the screen. It's so nice. And I have not used unstable currents yet. You might think I am. I have not clicked unstable currents yet. When I do, it's like overdrive mode. Like everything just instantly dies. And I'm playing a little uh, recklessly here. Here, let's let's go ahead and we'll click it. Yeah, that guy just, uh, he, he melted. And again, I'm only at 57. Uh, I'm not yet into World Tier 4. But I, I think this build could hold up. Like, the the basics are there. All that regeneration stuff is only going to get better as you level up, as you get higher crit chance, as you get higher um, you know, luck chance, as you get more damage. Um, you know, enemy life scales and their damage scales, but this build I think has good damage and it also has uh, very good survivability I'm not ready yet. and you'll notice like there are the rare occasions when my mana does go down a little bit um, I'm not saying I'm at the point where I'm infinite if I had that um, ring that had the six mana on it and I had you know a perfect 25 on the other ring I think I would be there. A little bit higher crit chance, I think, uh, would be very useful. But, like, there's very rarely a time where I'm just, like, not doing anything because I don't, you know, I don't have mana or, or something I can do. Like, if there's ever a moment where I am out of mana, I usually take a step and I grab an orb or I hit a cooldown. And then with single targets, I pretty much don't run out of mana. As long as those chain lightnings are bouncing back at me. Ow! That was almost bad. I like walked right into the mortar and I got stunned. I haven't uh, even really used my flame shield yet. Part of that is I'm still getting used to the the uh, the controls. So I've got flame shield on my left click, and I've tried this. Is that a unique? That's that's my second unique I found ever. Wow. Well, I might be trying out fireball later, so that's cool. It's too bad that it's like a lower level version because like I feel like I would really have liked that uh, in 20 levels or something. Yeah, maybe I'll be playing around with Fireball later. Uh, but what I was saying, getting used to the, the controls. So they've got it where you can decouple, like I just hit shift and left click and it made fire shield go on. You can decouple where I can make like five do this secondary skill. That's how I had it for a little while. One, two, three, four, five. The problem was when you do that, it also decouples the use button from your 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 left mouse button. So like if you want to pick up an item, you now have to press the F key while you're mousing over it. Like over your item, which is just retarded. I, I cannot um, find a way to allow me um, to set this to be, um, separate from movement and also allow the left click to pick up items. It's like, it's, it's, it's mutually exclusive. You can't do both of those things. So I'm going this way. So I am still getting slightly used to... Uh, the setup here. Yeah. I need to... 
Show me the grinning fiends. Oh, that's that thing. I've run into these before, where you get like, you basically just activated the shrine. That, um, fire, uh, flame shield is pretty nice. You know, the, the invulnerability is, is really good, especially, you know, as you go higher and higher in difficulty and things are dealing more and more and more damage. Um, but it's also like a nice, just little bonus damage that you're dealing. Like if, when I'm just surrounded by enemies completely, it does a pretty substantial amount of damage. And you notice I ended that combat with full mana because of all of the orbs. I'm lost. Oh, cool. Okay. I thought I was gonna have to turn around. This is a pretty nice dungeon. I've never, I've never done this one. Where is the objective, though? I feel like I've cleared everything, haven't I? Did I miss something? Was there... Is there a corridor I missed? Oh, did I unlock it? Travel to the Grinning Chamber. I think I did. I didn't even notice I unlocked it because I've been talking like an idiot. I kind of hope this one has, like, a high health boss at the end to really demonstrate the chain lightning bouncing on a single target. Because, like, there are times where literally my mana is going up while I'm spamming it. it like, it, it works that well. Man, I gotta try out Fireball now after finding that item, though. Like, I just... I finally worked out this build... And then I got that unique, which, like, totally throws off my game. And you'll see, like, my mana is barely going down. I hit unstable currents there just to explode everything. And, like, if there's any time where I'm, like, trapped, I just teleport on top of all of the orbs. And, like, you know, my mana is fine, and I'm doing way more damage from all those crackling energies again. Because it's doing... It's hitting six enemies for 10% each. There's so many exploding guys. Jesus. And did you see Instable Currents is already off of cooldown again? Because of all of the... Like, I'm, if, if you want to go back and watch this section, how fast my cooldowns were going down there. Mostly because of all the Instable Currents. That was fun. Unstable Currents is fun. It's like, I want to try out that unique, but I also... kind of bummed, because... I feel like I just got this working. Uh, I did... Like, I, I hit 45 and I beat that Capstone Dungeon, like I said. Uh, and then since then, I've really just been doing, like, the... The, um... Uh, Tree of Shadows missions and I'm trying to kind of coincide with the ones I haven't done yet and I went back and I got all the Lilith statues and I got my Renown uh, almost maxed out with everyone okay watch my mana Yeah. No mana problems. Um, yeah, uh, I'll end the video here. Uh, I'm pretty satisfied with the build. It's a lot of fun. I'm still stoked about finding this. Uh, yeah, so um, I'm going to do another video. I think I'm going to try next to do the capstone dungeon like early, like maybe right now. And if I'm successful, I'll post another video. 
uh, showing me doing the world tier 4 capstone video. But uh, if you like this build, uh, if you got any thoughts on it, any critiques, any suggestions, please do drop a comment below. If you like what I'm doing, <clears throat> you know, check out some of my other videos. You've got a ton of Diablo content, Diablo 2, Diablo 1, Diablo 4, a little bit of 3, virtual reality, retro stuff. If you like it, um, please do like and subscribe. And just thank you once again, everybody. Have a wonderful night.